Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you as always for watching. This is now number 16, I think, uh, in the series. And for those of you who've watched the majority of them so far, you'll know that everything we've done, we've been talking about it in standard tuning of the guitar. So we've been using E, Tonight, try something a little different. I'm going to look at what's called drop tuning. And what that means is that instead of using the standard tuning of E, A, D, G, you retune one or more of the strings to a lower note. Um, in my case, all I'm gonna do is retune the bottom string to a lower note so that we can actually produce, we've got a, at the moment, the lowest note the guitar can play is a, a low E. And we're going to go lower than that down to a low D. So effectively, if you remember back to your scales, we're going to drop it down two frets from an E to a D. Before we do that, um, what I'm also hoping to do tonight is there isn't an awful lot to drop tuning, to be honest, once you've got the principle, you've got it. So to fill it out a little bit, I'm also going to look at learning the only song I know how to play in drop tuning, which is Another Brick in the Wall, part two, by The Floyd. And um, to start off with, I'm going to show you the notes of that in standard tuning. So that if you don't want to retune and you just fancy keeping it standard. You can play a standard tuning if you want to. Uh, there's only five notes in the bass line of another brick, so really not a lot to learn. It's more about the rhythm and the drive of the song than, than, than the tricky notes. Um, in the verse, all he's doing is playing D and then a quick C, D. And then D down to A and C, D again. very firmly on the bottom string because I'm hitting through A really firm so I'm getting a good crisp note. Some of the notes are shortened, some of them are ring a little longer, you'll pick that up as you listen to the song. But muting E properly means that I can keep a good control and not get any exterior notes coming in that I don't want. When it gets to the bridge, he plays, comes down to the bottom string and plays a G, and that just increases, it starts off two slow ones and just increases in speed to four normal notes. Then back to D, C, D. D, A, G, F. So F is the lowest note in the song. Then back to C. And those are all the notes that the song plays. Does it twice, verse, bridge, chorus. And then of course the song closes with Mr. Gilmore's brilliant little snappy solo and that's even more straightforward, he's just doing the D, A, C and back to D riff again. your timing, get the snappy notes, the, the more ringing notes, you've got the song nailed and you can play it. That was it played in the standard tuning of E, A, D, G. If you listen to the song um, through, it actually has a low D in it quite regularly as well, which if you're playing it properly, it does give the song a bit more grounding 
and uh, snap and that's where drop tuning comes in because we as four string basses we have E A D G so E is our lowest note and if we want to play a lower note than an E then we have two choices we can either buy a five string guitar which actually the lowest string on that one is tuned to a B so you, you can actually you've got an extra five frets there to play before you actually reach if you remember back to your principle of fives and sevens starting on a B string you can go B C C sharp D D sharp and then your fifth fret is your low E but you're playing that as the fifth fret on your B string of a five string guitar I've had a ride on a five stringer once didn't particularly make a good job of it to be honest so I'm more than happy at the moment to stick as a four stringer which means that if I want to play anything lower than an E then I have to retune my bottom string which is what I'm going to do here uh, and that's you're dropping the note which is why it's called drop tuning and we're dropping down two tones from uh, an E to a D you can retune the string to anything you want. If you wanted to tune it to a B, you can do. Uh, um, I think I'm right in saying that the brilliant German band Rammstein, they play an awful lot of songs with uh, Ollie Riedel's bottom string tuned to, I think it's a C. So he's dropped twice as much as I'm going to do tonight to play this song by Floyd. Um, you've just got to be aware of how it affects what frets you play when you play in the bottom string. It doesn't change any of the other three strings, of course, it just changes the bottom one. So at the moment, I hope you can see this on the screen. I'm tuned. Is that switched on? It helps when it's switched on it. Um, string so that it drops down a whole note and comes down to a D. So instead of the short little tweaks that you'd normally make on your tuning pegs, we're going to make quite a substantial drop here. Showing an E at the moment. Now I'm slacking it off. And I'm already in the right area for a D. Um, just a little more tweak and that should be a D. way to test it is play the octave. two D's on the guitar now, we've got the bottom one and the third string is our standard D so we've got the octave of it. So how that changes things is that we're still playing on the second string but we also now every once in a while we're dropping a play your low one you want to let it ring and then dive back on it with your thumb again to kill it completely you don't want it it's it's a good short
so the uh, the note doesn't ring out any longer than it has to but it really punches in and it drives the song along to be honest but the big change comes when you're playing the bridge bit where we were playing a G everything has moved up two frets now because what was a E before is now a D for the open string so the first fret is now D sharp there's our E on fret 2 F is now at fret 3 F sharp at fret 4 and our fifth fret is now a G so the, the rule of five doesn't apply anymore when we're drop tuning. We've now got to get all the way to fret seven to get that A that we would have previously got on fret five. So when we're playing the bridge with those G's that run through, we're now playing it on fret five. down to the F is frets 5 down to 3 instead of 3 to 1 as it was before. So on the second string still the same. And drop in a quick low D there in that little riff when he changes back. And then the closing chorus going to play through the song all you've got to remember about your drop tuning is everything's moved two frets to the right but as far as brick in the wall goes it only means two different notes just that the G now played on fret 5 and the F played on fret 3 everything else is exactly the same so here comes the song and hopefully you'll get the feel for how it all works <laughs>
all folks hope you enjoyed that I love playing it myself it's it's always been a favorite song of mine um, and once I got going on this it was one of the songs I just had to get going with and as soon as I realized what drop tuning was I've played it like that ever since the only difficulty with drop tuning is probably as you saw with me uh, mucking about before we got started that you need to be precise on your tuning and say if you were in a session of music and brick in the wall appeared halfway through it then you would have to stop retune down and then retune back up again to carry on playing in standard again and therefore tuning your guitar becomes quite a quick and necessary skill um, to make sure that you're not holding the, 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 the audience is going to get a bit restive if you're taking ages to get the thing back into where it needs to be um, fortunately I only ever play in here to my mp3 player but even so I still have to stick it on pause while I muck about and get the thing back into standard tuning again so um, it requires a bit of thought as to if you've got it in the middle of the other songs that are in standard tuning then you need to stop retune stop again get it back to where it was and uh, it just requires a bit of thought and it makes you a better tuner of your guitar as well so i do hope you enjoyed that one thank you as always for watching um, do please stay safe out there and i'll hope to see you all very soon take care bye